Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohaneze MD Igbo, on Monday said Governor Hope Ozadema of Imo State should be held responsible for the recent security breaches in the state. Daily Post recalls that the security challenges in the southeast worsened early on Monday with the coordinated attacks on the Correctional Service Facility in Imo State, as well as the Imo State Police Command Headquarters. Reacting, the engineer Chidi Ibe led Ohanese said the invasion of Olu areas weeks ago by the military on Uzodima's invitation was responsible for the security crisis. In a statement signed by the Secretary General, Mazi Okechiku Isiguzoro, he said, the uprisings, waves of violence and banditry in Imo State within the last 48 hours is revengeful mission, is a revengeful mission and well-coordinated reprisal attacks against the government of Imo State in response to the governor's acceptance of military action and airstrikes against peaceful Eastern Security Network and IPOP members at Olu recently. He said, Ndigo had previously warned Governor Hope Uzodema of the consequences of his impulsive actions against the Eastern Security Network in appeasement of his paymasters. Consequently, Imo State Governor should now accept the full responsibilities of violence perpetrated in Imo states in the early hours of Easter Monday. The pattern and uniformity of the modus operandi of the perpetrators shows there are evidences of a well-coordinated serial attacks in almost police stations in all Igbo states at the early hours of each day with the sole target of amassing ammunition for the, for the possible full-scale banditry in the southeast. But the new dimension of the attacks at Oweri Correctional Facility points that the perpetrators had equally released their members. Recently incarcerated by Imo State Governor over the Olu crisis. However, the Ohaneze called for a ceasefire and reminded the perpetrators that dialogue remains the best weapon of resolving conflicts and disputes. And there are laid down procedures to nip in the board these fast rising monsters in the Southeast, which requires drastic measures. On the way forward, the Ohanese scribe said, Governor Hope Uzodema should tender unreserved apologies to Ndibu for his non-consultative military actions in Olu crisis, an incarceration of innocent people and resigned most of his unpopular anti igbo decisions and policies. Southeast governors must establish the regional Southeast security network to engage the youth to defend our territories without further delay with the full backing of the law. The NSAS Federal Government Youth Empowerment Funds should be shared equitably in all the 95 local government areas of the Southeast. Anti-open grazing laws must be uniformly enacted in all the Southeast Houses of Assembly and signed into law by Southeast governors without further delay. Southeast governors should deproscribe the activities of IPOP and persuade the federal government to remove the terrorist tag on them. Southeast will gradually become another Northeast if our political leaders, opinion leaders, religious leaders keep quiet as evil triumph before us. This is the best time to uproot this menace growing up in the East. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? 
Well, it is what it is, if you ask me. The Ohanese Indigo have spoken well this time around, if you ask me. The, all they have asked the, uh, or they have laid down to be done are well intended. And this would definitely go a long way in addressing the fragile peace that is uh, in the Southeast at the moment. And would also address some of the issues of uh, the activities of the unknown gunmen and uh, violence in the Southeast. Be that as it were, if the Ohaneze Indigo can prevail on the Southeast governors, then to a very large extent, that will be the beginning of a headway into this, um, so, uh, into uh, pro, uh, providing solutions to this problem. The government of the day must, as a matter of urgency and as, as a matter of priority, ensure that there is peace in the whole of the Southeast region to ensure that Lots of stakeholders in the Southeast have been advising the Southeast governors on how to solve this problem and what to do, but they have refused. You know, but this time around, with all that is happening, if only they can pay attention, listen to stakeholders, take, uh, accept uh, constructive criticism, then the Southeast will be on the path to. Um, a better life than what is happening it is what it is IPOB has come to become a very strong household or factor in the activities of the Southeast as it is right now as the group has more followers or majority of the people in the Southeast are now following IPOB how that came to be is still uh, a mystery to so many people and the Southeast governors are only denying these facts to their own detriment, or they are playing to the gallery if they refuse to accept this fact, because as it is, nothing can change it. That is just the truth. IPOP has, is now a household name. If statistics and census is taken, household by household in the whole of the Southeast, I stand to be corrected, but within one in every five households, there must be one person who identifies and agrees with IPOP in the Southeast. So it tells you how the IPOP has uh, gained uh, popularity and um, more followers. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.